She shoots. She scores. Hello, question mark. Hello, chat. How are you? Hey, Caitlin. Menchie Gang, four months member. Hollow, the new collection box just showed up at your doorstep. Mine just showed up too. No, just kidding. This is from lunch. You know, after lunch weekend, I'm always like tired. <laughs> I mean, aren't we all just tired every day? So, you know, whatever it is, what it is, it's all relative. Some of you probably have this now. So I thought we should do some nail art. Or we should do some nail art. Or just kind of explore and go beyond the combos that we did at the end of launch stream. Has everyone got a drink? Good question, Sam. Chad, where's your tea? I have my tea. Oh, Menji, where are you? <laughs> okay, Menji's making this stream chaotic. We're gonna need to move on and just ignore her. <laughs> She's teasing us. I've already painted on peely base so I can peel off my nails for my peely bag. And I've added a coat of smoothing base. I was actually inspired by a few different posts since people already started receiving their light mode collection. People pair light mode into different gradients, but like not gradient in the traditional way that you think. So a gradient is normally where you take you know, a nail art sponge and you cut it and then you put the colors on and then you dab, dab, dab. But this formula, because it has a more sheer formula that's buildable, it allows you to actually do what's called a lazy gradient where you just use the brush, almost like a watercolor, like a painting technique, where you paint two different colors with the brush and then kind of blend them over each other by overlapping them and then it just looks more seamless. Because it's more of a sheer formula, a sponge is gonna absorb more of the color. So it's not gonna really be the same as like gradienting a linear hollow formula, which are like super rich and opaque or a creme formula. So this is actually one of our mods, Procrastination. It says follow back. That's just cause I'm not logged into the right account. <laughs> See how right there she did, that's white and then a black stripe and then put each of the light mode colors. I love how this turned out because it kind of shows you the dimension of like how different each light mode shade is gonna look depending on the base color. And I think this is a really cool concept that is pretty accessible. I was literally on Discord and saw the lazy gradient. That's my, the only way I can do a gradient. Yes, a lazy gradient. Who's lazy? <laughs> I mean that in like the nicest way. Who's a lazy nail painter? If you consider yourself a lazy nail painter, write lazy in the chat, write I'm lazy. <laughs> Oh my god, we got so many lazy. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do lazy nail art. <laughs> this one. This one. Wow. Kayla's nails on Instagram. Two different colors, I think. Or maybe this one's three. And they're just painted beside each other, but then they overlap in the middle. So it creates this gradient. It almost looks like an additional shift, even though it's like not technically a shift. You know what I mean? Would that not ruin your brushes? Good question. So if you if you pick up a little bit of another color, then you can just wipe it off on a paper towel. It's easier. You don't need a sponge, but it only works with certain formulas. You can't do a lazy gradient with cremes. The cremes are just too opaque. It only works with formulas that are more translucent and more forgiving so that they kind of just naturally blend more like a sheer, sheer wash. Would you say the cleanup for lazy nails is easier? Yes, absolutely. Because it's, you're just painting normally. You're just painting normally. You're just layering it. Whereas with a gradient sponge, for sure you're gonna get it like on your skin. So that's where a protective peel or cleanup brush tends to come in. We're gonna like do it on our hands, but let me just explain this watch wheel. First of all, these are over white. These I think on the whole wheel like turned out so good. And this one I tried to do the other direction. It didn't really work out as well because it's hard to paint uh, horizontally on the nail. So it does look a little splotchier in the middle. But you know, it kind of looks more like abstract art. This one is like a cross hatch design, basically painted a braid with each color. And these were also some lazy gradients over top of smoothing base. So I wanted to see what it looked like without a white base. I don't know what this is. I was just like playing around. <laughs> these are both two lazy gradients, but I find that they're not as impactful over black. They really show up like so much cooler over white, like this one. Looks like a freaking popsicle. I wanna eat it. Don't eat the nail polish. Okay, let's do a pull. Lazy gradient over natural nail, black or white. Although I've already biased you and said that white looks the best, but I'm asking you anyways. Over lavender. Oh, that'd be so pretty too. I wanna know. I wanna know. <laughs> Guys, you need to stop giving me suggestions. We're getting off track. This isn't the nail art yet, but I do want to know. Well, this dries. Most people are voting white. Yeah. Okay. We already knew. We already knew. My not milky white. Menchie hair. No. 
Look, we must clean. Good thing I have my cleanup brush out. But let's go back here. I'm gonna paint wireless mode over lavender just for fun, just to see what it looks like. So remember when you're painting the light mode collection over top of a light base, put it on a thick enough coat and then brush it gently, float it to minimize the number of streaks. This is sunset simulation over top of lavender. Just one coat, that looks pretty. I'm gonna do a lazy gradient, okay ready? Color number one, sunset simulation. Just on the side and slightly in the middle. Color number two, encryption key in the middle and slightly down the side. Color number three, flash drive on the side and then slightly overlapping the middle. And see, I'm just like wisping it. There, done. Lazy, done, check. See how that blended? I think I'll go back with like a second coat. And that's it. Just working with the Menchie here, don't worry about it. Sunset is a really nice transition shade. <laughs> I'm a beauty guru now. Naturally, there's some colors that are gonna look better, more adjacent to each other. The technique will be more important if the colors aren't naturally sisters. All of them turned out so good. <laughs> See how easy that was? Like, holy shit, guys. You can do this. You can do that. So easy. I'm a beginner and I feel confident to that. Perfect, silly munchkins. That's what we want. Okay, let's paint our actual nails. How about that? So I'm starting with wireless mode, which I think was the best seller. I'm putting it like basically to the middle. You're not doing the curve around the cuticle like you normally would, but that's okay. We just kind of clean up afterwards. I kind of like the stripes. No, I'm gonna blend them. I'm gonna put another layer of blue that'll blend the line. It'll blur it a little bit more, but I like to give a little bit of time to dry. So let's blue, purple, and sunset. Yeah, let's do that. Ben has confirmed for all the data nerds in chat that wireless mode bestseller for individuals, which is so interesting because on stream, we did a poll of viewers in chat and Sunset Simulation definitely won that one by a landslide. But in terms of sales, wireless mode was the best seller. And then second place, Light Link and Sunset Simulation were actually tied. Damn, see, you gotta let the data settle in order to actually notice meaningful differences. Your nail tech bought the light mode collection, but just for herself. I will only be able to watch it, really. <laughs> That's funny. Because honestly, I did not do the best. Like, how did I just do so much nights here on the swatch wheel <laughs> than my actual nails? Of course. The, the thumb did better. Maybe I just needed to practice on my own nails. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go back in with a second coat, mostly in part to even it out. So now I have to remember what I did on each nail. <laughs> Messing up my cuticle, but I need to get it around the sides. My nails so curved, they spell Christine. The pinky looks good. See, the blend looks a lot better now with the second coat. Ooh, okay, now next pinky. Mm, looking better. You looking good, yes. Yes, chat. Yes! You know, this isn't a sports channel, but if it was, I think I would say, goal, she shoots, she scores. Oh no, this wasn't light link. This was wireless mode, fuck. It's light link now. <laughs> no, she did not score, she missed. All right, let's do the thumbnail, said all YouTubers. This is what you call a lazy gradient. See? They kind of blend. They blend, man. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Remember when I said this was lazy? <laughs> How does light mode look with everything taco? Oh my God, I thought you'd never ask. Amazing. These two, just encryption key and sunset simulation, both have everything taco. The other ones are just a different unicorn skin. It's stunning. I gotta stop being a perfectionist and just like call it a day, say it looks good. Thumb looks great. I would suck that thumb, Ben, stop. <laughs> You know, we have enough mods to remove Ben's mods privilege. Like I think maybe that's the move. Why don't you go stream Ben? And I won't mod for you. <laughs> Look at that. Where'd you get those done girl? At the Simply Spa. Thumb is encryption key, flash drive and wireless mode blended together in a lazy gradient over top of not milky white. Look, this is my favorite combo. Oh, that's that's a just a winner. She shoots, she scores. Damn, it looks like my my background, like my neon lights. Now I'm using glossy taco, and I'm gonna float it on. 
Don't forget to wrap the tip. Wow. Seal that mani, babe. That's what we do when we seal in the mani. It's looking good, feeling good, feeling fine. Nail polish all the time. All right, everybody. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, chat? I've gotten so much feedback from the light mode collection and I really appreciate it. And it's so clear to me now that photos don't do it justice because people will get it in the mail and they'll be like, this is so much better than your pictures or videos. <laughs> it's really hard to show how kind of chromey and shifty these are. Kind of like frosted metals where people gave similar feedback. What launch was Rainbow Snow part of? The original holidays collection. The OG, the first holidays collection we ever released. <gasps> I just had an idea. Let's see if you're on my wavelength. Chat, what am I doing? What if we put light mode on top of it? Mm. Do you guys remember when I did highlighter nails? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Christine, and today I've got the brightest, sparkliest, coolest nail design done with highlighters. But look, don't they look so juicy, like candy, and so delicious? I licked them and they didn't taste good. I said, eat the nail polish. Silver hollow glitter, and then I took highlighters and colored them on top so that you still get this beautiful sparkly hollow underneath. That's what I'm thinking with light mode and rainbow snow. Okay, this will be the last experiment of the day. Cause you know, yeah, I wanna know. We need to know, answer the question. What does it look like? It's important research we're doing here. Where did you get your sweatshirt? It's Julian's. This is my height. That's my height. That's the year I was born, 1992. Look nice with my nails, yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm a model. <laughs> Let's see. This is Julen's merch. Yes. Okay, this is what I'm wearing, not sponsored. Oh, look at the nails. Yo, very nice. What color is that? Can we tell? Can you see what color that is? No, I don't think it's scientific. It looks more like board meaning. Or it could be neither. <laughs> it could be neither. That's a nice color green. Imagine this color green as a nail polish. You know Julian is a hollow taco stan. He is, he is a big stan. Okay, so what was I gonna do? So this is rainbow snow. Let's do light link, wireless mode, and flash drive. Okay, first thoughts, first thoughts. I've never done this before. It does look really different. Like it gives it a more unique multi-dimensional texture. Whereas the shimmers kind of on their own are just more uniform wash. Yeah, the hollow does pop through. This is what I'm gonna use to decide what I should do with my life. All right, now I'm gonna do sunset simulation. Over top of gift receipt. Ooh, and I'm gonna fade that into encryption key. Ooh, ooh, what? It has texture because the frosted metals, metals have a little bit of texture, but we'd need to put a glossy taco on top. But you can see through it with the two colors. It's so pretty. Just another thing for you to try, you know? We're on dark mode now with the camera. And now if I take my trusty phone flash, <gasps> there, see the hollow underneath? It's subtle but it's pretty and it does look nice with this lazy gradient look. Let's wrap it up. I wanna see your manicures. If you guys played around with the light mode collection, then I definitely wanna see, so don't forget to use hashtag paint with simply. Show me your nails. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me and chilling. Bye.